is a cold January day on site. There are lots of teams waiting for the thaw or just breaking the ice so they can start their day's work. But that doesn't seem to have slowed the overall progress. Well, here we are at the back of the building. Not as exciting as the front of the building. You know, it's not exactly a glue lamb roof, but it's very exciting because before today, we haven't had a back of the building. So I think it's uh, about time we caught up with someone else who I know will be very excited about all this progress. We haven't talked to him in a while. I hope he's in a good mood. So far, since we were here on site last, what has changed? A lot of block work has commenced. Um, we're roughly 50% of the way through the block work right now. Stone masons have started here last week putting on stone. The windows have been ordered. The window sills are on. Scaffolding has gone up all over the place. The metal stud guys are preparing to come in here. The roofing contractors are on site. So what has gone well on site and what has gone not so well on site? We take care of problems as they arise. And they're not problems, we just find solutions. And the guy is sleeping the truck out there and won't unload the truck. Because he's been involved in the loading of the truck, he will put the straps on it because he knows which parts come out the way it was loaded to reverse things out so things don't get damaged. Currently today we have a driver that his pipe blank refused to do that. He's hopped back into his truck and he's not off to sleep for us. <laughs> so, like, it, are you going to make him a coffee or...? Yeah, I had to, you know, take another guy from the side and ask him to go on the truck and start um, putting straps on it so we can... Open. So that means I'm down a pair of hands. This truck contains the necks of the pot stills for whiskey distilling. It's very precious cargo. So it's not exactly the kind of thing you want to be forklifting around a busy building site. Well, Barry, how are we? Steer clear. Steer clear. Yeah, it's one of those days, is it? You're almost there, eh? Yeah. Like, it is almost all... It's all... Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. You know when you're trying to parallel park? on High Street and there's a load of cars behind you and you think that's the most pressure anyone's ever been under behind a wheel? Frank, in that, trying to transport all of these incredibly expensive, incredibly vital pieces of equipment, trying not to dent them. While heavy construction is ongoing and precious pot stills are being carefully delivered, some of the more beautiful parts of the building are taking shape. Are you used to working in these cold conditions? It was actually beautiful there until the truck pulled in in front of me a second ago. This is Valencia Slate, I know that just by looking at it straight away. It? Yeah. It's a very distinctive, very, it's, it's almost a famous type of stone, is it? It is, uh, yeah, it is, it is. They've been used it since the early 1900s, I suppose. Valencia Slate is a famous stone quarried from just down the road on Valencia Island. It can be seen on Westminster Abbey, St Paul's Cathedral, and even Paris Opera House. We'll see how it goes after a couple of weeks when yeah. we start falling out with the boys. If we start throwing stones at you and the cameraman and stuff like that, then, then you know we're in trouble. <laughs> so, so you normally have to have a, a weather type building for tiling work, would yes. you? Yes, so what we did was we erected this. We have uh, four kerosene blow heaters keeping them warm. Yeah. Uh, we put in a little power for them and they've been tiling away for the last week. They're very good tilers, I must say. Normally, tiles are laid in a watertight, almost complete structure. Not for the Clarny Brewing Company, though. What they do is build an internal watertight structure so the tiling can get done and the brewing can begin as soon as possible. This is your little workstation here. Yes, you can take that, yeah. So, have you ever tiled a building before the roofing was done? Not like this, no, it's, it is crazy as it is at the moment. So it, it must be very important to have it down to the exact millimetre. Uh, it is, yeah. Let's say the screening under the tiles, the flooring, concrete, everything must be perfect. Yeah, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Unfortunately, I can't help you today. Uh, it's just too cold for me to be tiling, you know? to go anyway. Uh, yeah, next step. <laughs> oh, so, coldest day on site by far, maddest day on site by far, which is saying something. 
but it just goes to show that they will do anything to get this place up and running by summer 2021. Right, it is time for a cup of tea. I think I'll do that at home. See you next time.